I'm Eric Kreider, Executive Director of Safety and Operations. And I'm Kathy Padrell, Theater Director at Friendswood High School for over 30 years. We're here today to give you a glimpse inside of the Friendswood High School Auditorium. As you know, over the past 24 months, we've been working with architects on a long-range facility plan. We've also had a Citizens Advisory Committee charged with uh, making a recommendation to the Board of Trustees. In part of that, the Citizens Advisory Committee went around and toured facilities. So we're going to give you a glimpse inside of what they saw throughout their tour and the recommendation they made to the Board of Trustees. Let's start off by talking about the seats within the auditorium. The seats are old, outdated. There's a lot of issues. As you can tell right here, I have a missing seat. Um, this seat that I'm sitting in right now is actually leaning down uh, towards the ground. Um, they're to the point where they're past uh, repair and replacement. Um, the parts you can't even get um, on order. At this point, we need to replace every single seat within the auditorium. Yep. Uh, behind me that you'll see the current sound booth uh, that runs all the sound for the auditorium. It's not even a conditioned space and there's over $40,000 worth of equipment inside that space. That hole indicates the foot of a maintenance um, professional who's trying to navigate the plaster to change the lights. There is no safe way to change the lights in our ceiling here at Friendswood High School. Friendswood High School's theater footprint is circa 1969. The, um, the distance between the edge of the stage and the back wall, which is non-load bearing, and the distance between the floor and the ceiling is below the, the national standards for the arts. Um, this stage is crumbling. This back wall uh, serves no purpose. And because of that, our students are forced to push in heavy loaded wagons, sometimes weighing 400 pounds in order to change sceneries, where in other high schools across Texas and the United States, we're able to raise and lower in what we call a fly system effortlessly with a pull of a rope, our scenery. Let's talk stage. The stage is currently as it sits is 32 feet. Anywhere the theater department goes and attends, the stage uh, length is normally 40 to 50 feet. That's like practicing on a 60 yard football field and then playing on 100 yards. Um, it makes it difficult for the staff and the students to prepare the sets and to be competitive when they go to those other venues. Another thing that our current theater lacks is a fly system or a fly loft. Um, it's basically a, a rigging system that holds ropes, lines, blocks and pulleys and counterweights and other devices in a theater that enables the stage crew to fly uh, components such as curtains, lights, scenery, stage effects and sometimes people. This is the female dressing room, and although it is rooted in so many wonderful traditions, and there, there are the history of all the performances of so many wonderful actors, this room is not adequate to house 20 and 30 female actors with their costumes and their racks. And beyond that, the state of the floor, it, it, um, the state of the ceiling, um, it's, it's just not a healthy room. It is old and, and de deteriorating and our, our wonderful actors deserve better. This room is 8 feet by 12 feet and in a typical musical we, we have probably 40 females. In our, in our drill team uh, we, have, uh, we run about 30 females. This room is not adequate enough to house our students. We, uh, in prior years we built uh, tents outside this room in order for students to change. No other high school in the state of Texas has to go through this. 
because the Friendswood High School Theater that was designed in 1969 and built in 1970 doesn't have a fly system. Uh, we, we do not have adequate storage space to construct what we call wagons. It, we, we don't have the room. And then what happens is that our students are forced, in order to change sceneries, it takes four people to move this unit on and off the stage. Our storage currently is, it, and has been for a very long time, dangerous. We have to move things up and down with a man lift because our storage has a vertical ladder that is not caged in. When we're in production, this is what a typical backstage scenery outlook um, looks like. Our man lift, our units, our wagons. Imagine 73 actors having to navigate all of this in the dark while the show is going on. Welcome to the Friendswood High School Orchestra Pit. For 30 years, we've been taking out approximately 10 rows of seats, which requires our maintenance team coming in and, and manually taking out 10 rows of seats in order to accommodate the Friendswood High School Pit Band. We've been doing this for 30 years. As you can see, it is makeshift and it is um, a little bit crowded. In a, normal, in a normal high school standard theater, this would be an orchestra pit that would raise and lower according to the needs of the fine arts department.